Hey there folks, welcome back. Ricky Tran here with Cutlery and More. Today we are going to go through a sharpening and uh, not just any sharpening, we're going to go through a sharpening process on whetstones with a knife with a full bolster. We get questions all of the time from customers who own German knives but want to have the pleasure of sharpening on a whetstone. So don't you worry, all hope is not lost. Just because you have a knife with a full bolster, it does not mean that you cannot have the pleasure of sharpening on a whetstone. So today, we're gonna go through a very simple method that can actually go kind of bypass the problem of a bolster. So I'll do my best to walk you guys through that process and hopefully by the end of the video, you will have the confidence to go out and get some whetstones and sharpen your knife on it, all right? So these are splash and go wet stones. You basically just throw some water on them and go right away. You don't need to soak them at all. So I'm gonna walk you through three different types of sharpening methods and talk about why which one is best for this knife here in particular. So the first method that you often see people do or you see on videos is the push and pull method, which is essentially this. It's basically you taking a knife going up and down the stone and you sharpen different sections at a time. Okay. And then you go back to the tip and you work your way through the heel. Now this method here works fairly well for most knives without a bolster. A knife with a bolster, it can still be done, but it just takes a little bit more effort and a little bit more concentration when you get to the end here towards the heel to stop. So it can be done. However, this knife here, you can see has a pretty pronounced belly. So this method here is best reserved for knives with a relatively straight edge, though it can be done on a knife with a larger belly. I'm gonna show you a method that's much easier and much more efficient for you. Now the next method here is what we call a crescent method. You'll see these uh, being used for knives with large rock, you know, with large rockers on their bellies. And it's basically going from the tip of the knife to the heel in one motion. And then coming back. So again, this method here is very efficient. It takes up a lot of materials per stroke or per cycle. Uh, but the problem is you still have a bolster and if you are not careful, you can easily grind that bolster on the corner of the stone. So again, it can be done, but there is another method that I wanna show you that's much more easy uh, for the stone and for the knife. And it's a single stroke method. Basically, what you wanna do is you take the knife, you bring the edge of the heel or the bolster to the stone and you find your proper sharpening angle. Okay, in this case, it's about 15 degrees, which is, again, the sharpening angle is not the most important thing. Don't focus on sharpening angles. If you are able to hold a consistent angle from tip to tip or from edge to edge on both sides, your result is gonna be much better than someone who just focuses on angles all of the time. So what you do wanna do is you find that bolster, you wanna go to the very edge of the bolster, and you wanna go to a, a relatively higher point of the stone because you're gonna be pulling down so what you wanna do is you bring your bolster up to the stone and then you wanna find your angle and you wanna have uh, adequate pressure on both the heel of the knife with your thumb and you wanna have your balancing fingers on the other side. This is kind of a counterweight to the actual knife. And you wanna pull at a slight arc. Okay, you wanna pull all the, way down, all the way down to the heel. Okay, so this method here is a little bit slower than the other two methods that we just saw, but it's much more accurate and it's much more safe for a knife with a full bolster. And so now we go to the other side, we do the same thing. You go to the other end of the stone, you find where the bolster ends, you have your index finger pushed down on the heel of the knife, you have your one or other two fingers on the other side, and you pull with your right hand. Again, in a slight arc. So that is the method, that's the mechanics of how to make this uh, process work. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I actually count and how do I make the, uh, you know, how do I actually start the, the sharpening and how do I end it? So I'm gonna walk you through the entire cycle of sharpening. What I'm gonna walk you through is called a counting down process. We actually do 10 strokes on one side, then we flip the knife around and do 10 strokes on the other side. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we count the other way. We turn the knife around and we count again. It's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? On the next cycle, we actually count down again, but we start instead of ten, we go eight strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we turn the knife around again, and we go eight strokes the other way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's eight strokes. Take off two strokes every single cycle until we get down to the one. That's six. Okay, that's six. Now we go down to four. Now we're going to four on the other side. All right, now we're going on a two. That's true. Now we're going on to one stroke. And at one stroke, we can repeat this a number of times. You can go three times, four times, however many times you want. Basically what you're feeling for is you want to make sure that the edge is completely clean and free of any bumps or any sort of imperfections. And this process here is you are never really a allowing the knife to develop a very aggressive burr. So by going back and forth and reducing that number of strokes. And so by the time you get to one stroke, there is no burr on either side of the knife. And if you run your fingers this way along the cutting edge, perpendicular to the cutting edge, you should feel no, no burr on either side. And so when you have achieved no burr on both sides, you know that the burr is essentially sitting on the cutting edge. From this point here, we move on to the 5,000 grit stone. Now one of the questions I get a lot from people is when you move on to a higher grit stone, do you start the process all over again? Their answer is no. You actually want to continue from where you left off. So we left off doing one stroke per side because the burr has already been removed and it's already standing on the edge, on the apex of the edge. Now if you start doing 10 strokes and you start counting down, it's fine if you do that, but you are essentially kind of undoing all the work that you've done on the last previous stone. So the best thing to do from here is to continue doing the one strokes per side. And at that point we are done. And I'll show you guys how sharp the knife is after we are done. And from here, in terms of how many strokes you want to do, it's really up to you. I would say try 10 each side and then just go from there and see how the knife feels. 10 on each side should give you sufficient polishing for most people. So that is really it. There's really not much else to it. Just because you have a knife with a full bolster, it does not mean that you can't enjoy the pleasures of using a whetstone. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to and every stone is a little different and your knife is a little different. The hardness of your knife will actually help you determine uh, how many strokes to do. So that's something that you have to experiment with. Uh, we will leave links in the video description to our website as well as all the products that we feature in today's video. If there are products on our website that you want to see featured here on our channel, please let us know what they are. We will do our best to get those videos up for you as soon as we can. All right, again, I'm Ricky Train with Cutlery and More. Thank you for being here. We'll catch you in the next video.